Welcome back to Tea Time with Tea. We've gotten a name, guys. We've got a name. So it was a very, very long day, and I didn't get to shoot the video this afternoon. So I'm doing it in the middle of the night. It's like ten o'clock. So today we are doing embarrassing sex stories. I tried not to read any of it until now, so I can get like a pure reaction. We're gonna get into it. The first one. I once knocked my head while giving head. I sat in his face and the next thing I know, my face hit the hole. <laughs> we couldn't stop laughing and stopped right there. I don't know, like, I don't feel like I'll be able to, like, sit in someone's face. A lot of girls are, like, very into it for me. No, I feel like it's... I don't know, like, what if you die? <laughs> next one. I gave a hand job and the boy came in, like, three seconds. I've heard like a lot of these, no? I feel like boys are just going through the most dice, especially if like you didn't do anything throughout lockdown. Mm -mm. Next one. I was drunk and then snuck out. I do it more than I realize. That alone, if you're sneaking out all the time, then stay at home. <laughs> stay at home. Anyway, then I was in a bucky where the moves a lot of people and we start, I started giving him a hand job. Then he came in like three seconds. Then I continued because what the if. Then we almost got caught because it was under a blanket and one of his friends were getting cold. So they tried to pull the blanket off. I don't think I'll do it like on a bucky with like a lot of people sitting there. Especially with like his friends. Because stuff go around too fast. Man. Next story. My first hand job experience wasn't even a hand job. I just rubbed in the boy's thing on top of his jockey and he was hard within two seconds of me touching it but that's like how it is girls are like slower to the vibes like you have to do this and you have to touch it like in certain ways and then she will boys if you touch him on his shoulder he's ready now don't still question it he's there anyway and then he came in his pants and his auntie walked in i wasn't ready for that ending man okay so you touch you decided to do these things while there are people in the house, which is probably okay, like sneaky vibes and whatever, but his auntie walked in. The person didn't say whether they got caught or not, but I'm praying you didn't because you're still alive to tell me the story. So, <laughs> next one. I gave a boy a blowjob in a school hall and then someone walked in. You gave a boy a blowjob in your school hall. God bless your soul. Like, school to me is just like a no. Like a no-no. Because, first of all, if you are a female and you are doing things at school that you are not supposed to be doing at school. And you get caught or someone, we tell someone, your high school life is over. It is done. Anyway, where was I? And someone walked in and then we ducked under the chairs. And as I wanted to continue as the person left, he came in my face and all over his pants. <laughs> so I just wiped my face with this top thing and ran to the bathroom. It was during a period, so everyone was in class. You are lucky. You were one of God's favorite children. How did he come back from that though? Because he came on his pants. So like, that type of stuff leaves stains. You know what I mean? So, um, next slide. Okay, ooh, this is a long one. So I went to this bra's house, and when I got there, we jumped straight into kissing. Not even now, or you nothing. <laughs> I mean, like, the best stories, the no? started with nothing. Like, and then, like, everything just escalates from there. I feel like that is, like, the best side piece moments. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. So then we were getting all heated and stuff, and this, bra this bra started loosening my belt, and then, boom, my pants is gone. <laughs> Okay, and I'm laying open legs under him. Okay, sis. And this bra starts doing his business down there, eating and stuff. So then he condomized and was on the verge of putting it in before his mom walked in on us and she literally traced us out. Guy, are you nuts? Okay, go on. Then we left and he was like, do you want to go for a walk? But yeah, we went for the walk. We went to, let's say, the spark and there was a bathroom. Let's say a park. What park has a bathroom? Okay, anyway. 
So I went into the bathroom to finish our doings and then he told me to bend over and so I did. So there I am in the bathroom with my hands on the floor <laughs> and my ass in the air waiting for those bra to finally get up in this and I could feel that he was trying his best to push it in but it's just not going in. <laughs> yeah, like two or three minutes later, this bra says he's done and I see come on the condom. In the condom. <laughs> so I thought to myself, <laughs> what the hell was that? It didn't even get right inside me. <laughs> So I think it was like the pressure of that, like just being too much for him that made him do that that quickly in the condom. So we left the bathroom and then after a while he wanted to do it again and I said, Nagani, so I went home. Yo, hectic, imagine the yes, bra still want to go again. You just like, <coughs> no thanks bro, see you next time. This is the last one. One night my boyfriend and I got drunk at a party. We then left and I decided to have sex at the beach. Biggest mistake. As we got into it in the backseat of the of his car. Baby, pull me closer in the backseat of your rover. Anyway. <laughs> Cops pulled up. Imagine that you was just getting into the vibes, no? Like you were feeling this bra and he's just feeling you. And you just hear whoop whoop. I'm out. Cheers. Bye. They shone a bright ass light into the window. And saw me riding him. Then I opened the door and took him out first. Mind you, his pants are still down. <laughs> and the male cop said to him, I need to do a great move. And put him into the SAPS van. So this boy is already into the police car, right? Female cop asked me, what are we doing? In my drunkenness, I said, nothing because you disturbed us. Stick, sir. But my pants was off and my cookie was white. <laughs> was showing for the world to see. <laughs> I then took out details because I needed to pay a fine or go to court. Somehow they changed their mind about it and said we can pay a spot fine. In brackets, this person said, Seps doesn't give spot fines. So what? Anyway, by the way, I just got paid that week and then I had to pay... And then I paid my loss, 1,500 rand, to get us out of that shitty situation. Alicia's got out of the situation though. Imagine, he, this cop was like dead serious, like, you're gonna go to jail now for public indecency, right? And you actually go to jail, like, do your parents know? I don't know, I think that's God's grace, because if that person didn't say, yo, pay me my money, then, yeah, you should have been in deep, deep. Ah, like <laughs> thank you for the six stories guys i hope you guys learned to listen like i hope you guys enjoyed it i enjoyed reading the stories so if you guys have any new topics you want me to talk about please don't be afraid to drop it don't hesitate to do it and getting to it, getting to it. see you in the next video bye